AITA for declining my wife's favorite name because of my sister's past experience with it? My wife's top choice for a girl's name is Josephine, with the nickname Josie Joy. She felt it was the perfect name for our daughter. However, the name Josephine has a difficult history in my family. My biological parents fostered and adopted several children. One of my adopted sisters was originally named Josephine at birth, and this was her name until she was six, when it was legally changed before my parents adopted her. The process of changing her name was complex and involved a childhood psychologist, a trauma therapist, and a psychiatrist, all of whom agreed it was in her best interest due to the trauma associated with her birth name. For context, she was five when she was removed from her birth family and has memories of them using her name. They also called her Josie. Even now, my sister still finds the name challenging. Although she hears it occasionally, she doesn't ask others to use a different name. Our family, however, knows that it can bring back unpleasant memories for her. She continues to attend therapy, but this issue isn't something that dominates her life. Still, there's a big difference between hearing it occasionally and hearing it frequently because a family member has that name. My wife knows Josephine was my sister's name but doesn't fully understand the extent of the trauma connected to it. She is aware that the situation was serious enough to involve professionals to change the name, but she doesn't know the detailed reasons, which I haven't shared because it's my sister's story, not mine. So, I told my wife that I couldn't agree to Josephine or Josie Joy. I explained that I couldn't live with the name knowing it would remind my sister of her trauma, and that I also have a very negative association with it because of my sister's past. My wife was disappointed and suggested we talk to my sister about it first. I told her my sister would likely give us her blessing to avoid burdening us, but I would feel extremely guilty. She accepted this, and we now have a short list of other names. However, my wife had mentioned the name Josephine so much that her family had already started referring to our daughter by that name. When my wife informed them that Josephine wasn't the chosen name, they asked why, and she explained that we needed to agree on a name we both loved equally. My wife's parents then took me aside and questioned why I would deny my wife this name when it meant so much to her. They suggested we could have chosen a middle name I loved instead. I explained that the name had a painful history for me and that I couldn't get past it. They accused me of being selfish. When I discussed this with my wife, she told me she wished I could have found a way to make it work, but she also promised to speak to her parents and ask them to step back. Ita.